Hey everyone, Joe Brady, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at some of the absolutely amazing transformational tools in Lightroom that can fix perspective problems as we have here in this shot. Now, first of all, let's take care of the basics. And if we look at the histogram, we can see really the exposure is perfect, although the shadows are very dark. So let's go up to the basic panel and just take care of that stuff right away. We'll bring the shadows up, the highlights down. Uh, overall exposure actually maybe up a little bit. And let's add some presence, texture for fine details, clarity for mid-tone details, and dehaze for some of the more shadow stuff. Now the image has also lost most of its uh, color, so let's put vibrance back in. I'll bring the sky back and some overall color. Now there's some other things we want to do, but the, that gets us in the right place. Also, there's a spot right here. So let's go up to the spot removal tool. We're just going to use the old fashioned one because there's nothing AI generative about this spot. So we'll just go ahead and, and get rid of it. In fact, I'll move where it's selected from and take there and the spot's gone. But now we have the perspective problem. Can Lightroom fix this? And obviously the answer is yes, or we wouldn't be here. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned it. This happens to be the Palace de Chenonceau in the Loire Valley in France. This was on my bucket list for years to see, finally got to see it. So anyway, let's scroll down. We're going to go to the transform window here. And obviously there's a vertical issue. You can see the things coming in at the tops. So let's go ahead and fix the verticals. So, I mean, that was pretty easy, right? Now we have other problems going along with it, but that's okay. Uh, when we do our final, when we do the crop, we'll actually fix some of the other stuff that's going on here. Now, also when we do this, the thing has gotten compressed horizontally. So let's go ahead and fix that with the aspect slider and watch what happens here. See, we can stretch out. And this is one of those things you have to remember what the place looked like when you were there. And I would say perspective wise, something about like that is probably correct. And then here's one that doesn't get used as much horizontal. Watch what happens when we use this one. We can actually rotate the image left and right if we want to emphasize or bring back a little of the stuff over here. Now, when we do this, it does kind of throw off our verticals again. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of rotation. We'll rotate that a little bit. I'm looking at this center tower here. I want to get that straight. And you know what? That's actually looking pretty good. Let's bring the whole image down to see if there's stuff on the top we want to fix. We do that with the Y offset, which will again slide it up and down. Now, do we really need that much sky? No. Uh, do I really need more water? Yeah, probably no also. So I'm just going to leave it there. And let's bring up the crop tool right here. So for crop, I'm just going to bring it up to the bottom of the water. I really don't need that much sky. I don't want it to overpower the image. I think something like that. Yeah, we've got some people over here on the bridge. Don't need them anyway. In fact, I'm going to cut off a little more because I want to get kind of this center tower a little bit more off to the left. And, you know, I think that's looking pretty good right there. So let's hit enter on that. And, you know, it's pretty amazing when you think about what it was we started with. So here's the image full screen, and you know that's looking pretty amazing, especially when you consider that's what we started out with. What a difference in being able to control both the shadows and the perspective of this image to bring it to here. But wait, wouldn't you like to do some more? Look at all these people crawling around this thing, and actually that's not bad. This place can get pretty crowded, plus we've got the uh, kayak or canoers over there. What happens if we actually took it to there? And I'm going to tease you. I'm going to leave you with the perspective fixes. We'll get rid of all the people and some light painting next time. In fact, even better yet, join me on December 3rd when we do our live photography kitchen presentation where we're going to go over all kinds of stuff about how to achieve these ends. And we'll continue this through the coming year. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you live on December 3rd. Look in the newsletter. It's all there. Until then, have yourself a great week, great weekend, and I hope to see you online again soon. Bye-bye.